Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here and welcome today to a new squad builder here on FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. So the other day uh, in one of the European matches for Atletico Bilbao, Aritz Adariz scored five goals uh, in one match, which is pretty damn crazy. And he earned himself his the first man of the match item on FIFA 17. So we're going to build a squad around this guy today. And of course, it starts with the goalkeeper. We've got Bernd Leno in gold today, an 86 rated. Uh, this one is an untradeable one that I got in a two-player pack ages and ages ago. Uh, and I used him once and thought he was rubbish. Used him a second time today, and I thought he was actually quite good. Uh, I still think I pr probably prefer Farman, but I use him so often that I was going to use someone different today no matter what. Danny Rose comes in at left back in this 4-3-1-2 squad today. Uh, obviously plays for Tottenham. If you look at his stats, his shooting is his worst one, but they're still pretty decent stats. Uh, and then we have Jonathan Tarr, who is like a mini Jerome Boateng. Well, I don't mean mini because he is six foot four, but he's like a lower rated, cheaper version of Jerome Boateng. And then what's better than the cheap version of Jerome Boateng than the actual one? We've got him in the squad as well. But at right back today, we've got uh, in, in Ignazio Abate. I use a Barté quite a bit. He's probably the go-to right back for me. Him or Florenzi in Serie A. Uh, and then, of course, this is this is the actual Jerome Boateng. Uh, partnered up with Jonathan Tarr. They've both got crazy amounts of strength. Um, Boateng's got, of course, like amazing pace and defending and physical. Uh, but Tarr is a great option, uh, especially as like a strong link to Boateng. It's nearly the perfect centre-back duo on the game. Now, moving into the midfield then, we've got three hard workers today. Uh, we have got Deli Ali, who's of course got a monstrous card compared to what he had at the start of FIFA 16 uh, because of his amazing season last year. He's 80 rated this year. Uh, I've also gone for an inform this week. That is, uh, how do you say his name? Giacomo Bonaventura. Uh, now, he's a default left mid on the game, but his inform is central. This card is unreal. Look at the stats. I put Sentinel on him, and he's nearly a member of Club 80. And then we have Roy Keane, who, again, is nearly a member of Club 80. If you put the Hunter card on him, it is only his dribbling that is two stats away from being at 80-plus club. And, of course, he's got great defending and amazing physical on this game. So he's more of your sort of holding midfielder. But they're all three very, very hard workers. Um, on, on the game. And then we've got a, a pretty awesome strike force uh, on FIFA 17. We've got James Rodriguez bossing that cam spot. Uh, and I think I heard way back talking about this theory that all of the four potential cover stars, that is Royce, Hazard, Rodriguez, and Martial, they all sort of outplay their rating and stuff. And I have to say, James is one of those people. He just... His long shots are unbelievable. It's uh, it's literally unreal. Uh, and then I've decided to play Inyaki Williams up front today. He's very, very quick. And he's got good physical. He's normally a right-sided player. So, of course, you're going to be playing him on 6 or 7 chemistry. But I wanted to see what it would be like. And, of course, you could use any other Spanish striker in La Liga to get enough chem if you wanted to go full chem on this one. But this is our Adariz. He's 86 rated. How sick does that card look, by the way? Orange and blue is just beautiful. I have to say, it's absolutely beautiful. And he's got a ridiculous goal-to-game ratio for me. What was that? 16 goals, 5 assists in 7 games? Unreal. Absolute gem on this game. Not a hidden gem because, of course, he is so he's like brighter than the sun. Anyone would know that, that he's there. Um, and, of course, a uh, lot of props for getting like the first man of the match item on FIFA 17. And uh, props to EA for looking at a, a European tournament that isn't just the Champions League. Of course, this is in the... Is it still called the Europa League? I'm terrible with that sort of stuff. But, of course, he got it in that. Uh, and, well, five goals in one match. Yeah, it sort of earns you a pretty sick card. And he has got 88 shooting. Um, and I think I put a Hunter card on him, which takes him up to, like, 97 shooting. 84 pace. Like, re really, really good. Uh, and this team... Yeah, I, I sort of dominated quite a few few people. I scored lots and lots of goals uh, with this one. And mainly from the that front three. I think I got one goal with Bonaventura. Um, we didn't score any corner headers from my centre-backs. Because I kind of have this technique now. You know when they patched the game a little while ago? Uh, before that patch, it was like play it short to your player. And then whip it back post. And there's always like a centre-back there to nod it home. Well, because they sorted out that... 
the new technique um, is is to just whip it front post with a lot of power. Uh, and then the player, it's normally your striker or your cam or something, always gets in that right spot to just flick the ball on with the back of their head and, and it goes in the back of the net. Like a very odd angle, but it does go in. And that, that seems to be my corner technique at the moment. I went for a couple of weeks spell since the patch came out where I didn't have much luck with corners. Um, but then recently I found that, yeah, that, that, that near post thing, the little flick on, sometimes they volley it acrobatically, sometimes they just head it. Uh, but yeah, that seems to be the way that I'm scoring corner goals at the moment. Definitely not playing it short. Uh, sometimes I, I bring the man short and then don't play it to him just as like a distraction for them to run a defender out. Leaves a little bit more space in the box for you guys to, to score that header. But you're seeing goals go in left, right and centre here. And the ones from James Rodriguez are generally like long shots. Like look at that. Outside of the boot. Long shot from God knows how far out. A tidy goal from what is a really, really good player. When I looked at his stats after the game and saw that he'd nearly got a goal a game and he's got nearly an assist a game as well. Like, yes, please. You're a very, very solid player that I most definitely want in my team. Um, Inyaki Williams at striker. Would I recommend him? I think, yes, he was a good partner for Adariz because although Adariz wasn't slow, he's, he's not the quickest. And to have someone like Inyaki Williams, who's got physical, but is absolutely rapid, kind of helps. Um, but then sometimes I would even recommend playing Adariz in like a, a one striker formation. And of course, you can't go wrong with Inyaki out on that right hand side. When he gets the full chem um, and he gets all the chemistry boosts that go with having full chem, uh, he kind of turns into an, uh, another next level player on this game, even though he's such a low rated guy. Um, but as you're seeing, loads and loads of goals going in from Adariz. I'm going to go ahead and do a full in-depth review over on the FootWiz channel for you guys. Of course, uh, on Adariz. The first man of the match of FIFA 17. How could I miss out on that one? Uh, and it's going to be a glowing review because as you can see, with a goal to game ratio like that, I, I just recommend him. <laughs> if you've got the 150,000 coins or whatever that he costs, yeah, probably go out and get him if I was you. Uh, so we're coming towards the end of the video. This is the final goal. If you've enjoyed, smash a like on it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. Fatal is coming very soon. Have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Peace.